Hey guys, Doug here with another video tip. Uh, today I'm going to talk about speed versus conditioning. So uh, for those who don't know, we're about three quarters, uh, 80, about 80% 80 uh, youth athletes here. Uh, mostly lacrosse athletes, but we do have a mix of everything. Um, so I think it's important when we talk about training for speed, for agility, quickness, uh, the difference between speed and conditioning. So when we look at speed, we're looking at the fastest from point A to point B. So say a 10 yard sprint from point A to point B. Conditioning would be something like a 150 yard shuttle, a 300 yard shuttle, um, something you know that's gonna make you more the endurance base, something that's gonna make you last in the game. So what ends up happening all too often when uh, people train for speed, they wanna get quicker, they end up just running through drills and drills and drills and drills. And you know, cone drill after cone drill after cone drill after sprint after sprint after sprint. And what ends up happening is that's all conditioning. Okay, when you're training speed, just like when you train power when it comes to resistance training, you need to make sure that you're having 100% effort on that specific drill. So if we have an athlete do a 10 yard sprint, say that takes them two seconds, okay, we're gonna make sure they rest at least another 10 to 15 seconds after they get back in their position to make sure that that next 10 yard sprint is 100% effort. Okay, because if we're just running 10 yard sprint, okay, go another 10 yard sprint, that's turning into conditioning. We do need to train that, um, but we need to have what we need to look at what we're trying to achieve with that specific drill. So if we're running through cone drills, same thing, we're working on change of direction. If we're working on a crossover step or a jab step, something like that, um, it's important to make sure that that particular drill is 100% effort and then they get full recovery, 100% effort. Maybe towards the end of the session, we do something like uh, you know a su basic suicide drill or a 300 yard shuttle, or a 150 uh, partner relay sprints, sled pushes. That type of stuff is going to be conditioning, and that's where you can be pre fatigued and and basically kick their ass. Um, so I think it's important when you're training athletes and for those who are you know uh, either parents of athletes or whatever it may be to make sure you understand the difference between speed and conditioning. So speed is gonna be 100% effort, maybe on that 10 yard sprint, they get full recovery and then they go after it again. Versus conditioning is just either drills after drills or maybe a longer distance uh, drill like a 300 yard shuttle. So you wanna make sure speed is 100% effort, conditioning you can be a little pre-fatigued going into it so that you can train to last longer. Uh, so that's today's tip, speed versus conditioning. If you're interested in seeing anything else, uh, shoot me a message on our Facebook page or um, shoot us an email, whatever is easier for you guys. I'll put both of those below on this uh, video link. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.